Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame. So in the last episode, we found out more about how to use the camera. We got some new abilities with it. In addition to that, we also uh, started killing some ghosts, or rooting ghosts, or whatever they call it. There's something, reflect There's something reflecting light inside the ornamental light mask. I found a hand mirror inside the ornamental light mask. I got the red hand mirror. Alright, sweet. Should I go and save? I should probably go and save. Let's see if I can see. Oh, come on, really? I really missed it. Door shut on me. I probably shouldn't have opened that. Let's open it again. Nothing in there. Oh. Huh. Door on the side is broken. Won't move at all. Really? Why does it close on its own? Whatever. That was just drama then. Some ghost is just cranky. Why didn't. Something on the floor. Herbal medicine. Nailed shut. I can't do anything with it. That means I'm just too bad. Oh. That's a jump scare and not a kill? Dang it! I can never tell the difference! Chat, tell me how to tell the difference between a jump scare and actual murder. And chat. To explain it, I'm not, I'm not really afraid of most things. If anything, this gets me excited and happy. Is something growling in there again? I wish I could understand it. Let's go back in here. Mirror the mirror stand has been removed. Use the red hand mirror? Oh, yes, I will. Oh, hey, it's the guy who's dead. Too bad he's dead, and I don't it's care about him. It's the person I just saw. <gasps> the ropes. I can see the faint shadow of ropes on the man's neck, arms, and legs. We got a small key from the drawer. It looks old. I wonder if it's. Oh, so this one's a battle. Seriously, how do I even tell the difference? Gotcha. Oh, that wasn't. Dead. All those points there. 1,239 for one kill? Poor guy. I hope he's set free now. There's something shiny where the ghost once stood. A spirit stone. This mysterious stone enhances the camera's power and enables auxiliary functions. Poor guy. 
I hope he's gonna rest in peace or something. Wait, he's trapped in the camera? That's not any better. He was trapped in this mansion, now he's trapped in my camera. All I did was move locations for him. I was hoping I, like, exercised him or something. Pressure, push ghosts back. Slow slows down the ghost movements for a limited duration. Wow, these are expensive. Alright, I think I want to go with the basic performance now, right? I don't have enough to do that yet, sadly. Whatever. I did what I could there. I still have no idea how to tell the difference between a jump scare and an actual deadly ghost. Because I kept getting ready trying to charge up and then they would just disappear. I was like, oh, well, that sucks. Just kept happening. Also, I like how you can just hold down square and it will just move by itself. Ooh, I wonder if that's the key to that one upstairs room. I'm gonna try it. Oh, okay. Listen, chick, she was running. He, it, they were running right by you. Use the brass key it won't. Wow. Wait way to make me feel like utter crap, chat. Saying that by putting him in the camera there's no way to save him and calling me such a hero. Such a jerks. Okay, there's a few shinies in this room. I'm not sure which one I should take first. I'm saving this one. Because no one puts baby in the corner. Herbal medicine. I got a research scrap. Secret rituals of the Hamaro family. Many rituals and customs have been passed down throughout the generations of the Hamaro family. Most of them are lost. The only things that we have left now are some documentations that record these rituals as a legend. It's hard to know the oral history remains. This is because all of her family members are dead, and those who are close to the family have been fed quiet about the ritual. One ritual in particular, performed December 13th, is shrouded in mystery. People who live near the mansion stayed inside on that particular day, and even now it is considered bad luck to leave the windows open on that day. I can only assume that this is due to the cruel nature of the ritual, but the truth remains unknown. Put the book describing the Hamuro family in my file. Kinda wish there was more ghosts to loot right now. I do feel bad about locking them in there for all eternity, but all the same, it probably for the best. Got it. Small roll of film. Yeah, this is a strong film. Gotcha. Woman at the mirror. Also, that was a weird spacing. What about your instincts? There are rope marks in my body, just like Koji. Same size as the first uh, four hallway mirror. What do the women in the mirror mean? Red notebook scrap. August 27th. The more I find out about Hermoro Mansion, the creepier it gets. I'm sure it's the perfect subject matter for Mr. Taki Imine's next book, but to be perfectly honest, I don't like an assignment one bit. It gives me a bad feeling. There's no way I want to go to that mansion, but it's my job, right? I guess I'll have to go. And I wouldn't want to, that, to waste the chance to work with Mr. Taki Imine just because of a little bit of uneasiness either. It doesn't help I have this sixth sense for the supernatural either. There's such a thing as knowing too much sometimes. Oh. I can either go down the stairs or go get an item. Give me that item. Got some more herbal medicine. And there's a door. The door stuck fast. I tried pulling on it, but it wouldn't budge. Oh, what, missing things? 
Alright. Apparently I'm missing things, according to chat. Sign screen door is torn. I can see the room froze old books on my brain. I'm assuming it has to do with this. Hi, right, girl. What? But how did. Okay, that makes no sense. Under the table. Sturdy looking table. I have to check every different angle of it, or something. It's an old desk, it's like an old brazier. It's so much dust that I can't see the bottom. Oh, there's another way out of the room I didn't notice. <gasps> Safe station, my friend. I haven't played long enough to actually justify uh, ending the episode. There's an audio tape in front of the doll. Red tape one is labeled research number one. All right. Time to use the camera, not the camera, the red tape. September 10th, 10.20 AM. We discovered some disturbing photos in a chest of drawers. Could these be the folklorist's children mentioned in Koji's notes? The photo is quite old, and shows some kids playing tag. In the corner of the photo, there's a faint image of a young girl in a white kimono. Her finger is pointed this way, and her eyes look as if she's making some silent accusation. Wait, don't tell me my brother got kidnapped because he had a camera. She hates cameras or something? That'd be dumb. Oh well, we'll figure it out. There are several pieces of paper on the shelf. They look like part of a red notebook. August 20th. It seems like a full chorus named Ryozo Minakata is studying about the various rituals passed down the Amuro Mansion. He supposedly left a book of research, but I can't find it anywhere. I wonder if there's a copy in the library somewhere? August 30th. I still can't find the book. I'll have Koji Ogata from the editing department do a search for it. I doubt he'll be able to find it, though. There's something inside the drawer. I found film. Man, that's a short door. Like, her head's, like, on the ceiling there. An old kimono hangs here. All right, let's see. Actually, now I think about it, I never checked this day. Dampness is warp the chest of drawers. Warp the chest of drawers? The drawers won't budge. That's an odd wording for it. Okay, apparently I won't react to that little basket down there. Won't react to the side of that item. And now time to look under the table. Oh, there's a thing over here. Stone mirror. Beautiful stone polish and mirror like finish. It possesses strange powers. Alright. Let's go back in here. I feel like I should head over here to the small door before I move on. There's a small door here, but it's now shut. I can't open it. Oh, never mind. That was a waste of my time. Oh, apparently Stone Mirror is a uh, revived stone for this game. 
it will revive me if I die. I'm gonna head up here. Let's see if there's anything I can do up here. Oh, there's an item. Herbal medicine. What can I think do here? I guess I've done anything. The door stuck fast. I tried pulling out, but it wouldn't budge. Alright. That only leaves one place to go. Spooky, scary ghosties. <gasps> Brother! That doesn't look like him. Hmm. Do I fight it or run? I bet that one front of No, 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 no. I just snapped a photo of her. For, for some reason, every time... For some reason, every time I take a photo of her, it doesn't matter. She just moves out of the way. Oh, that's a man? He said. That's a man? Okay, he ignores my camera. I figured he had a very manly she had a very manly voice. I didn't realize it was supposed to be. Yeah. Okay. Time it. Who mean time it? He's incredibly... Okay, apparently I'm just not even running the way I wanted to go. Gotcha. 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 Dead. You made me waste my revive stone, jerk. <sighs> well, that was like a boss or something. Yeah, I, I heard he was saying give back my child. All the same, don't want to give back his child. I probably want to keep it for myself at this point and just mock him with it. He's in my camera now, so I, I should take pictures of his child as I sit there with it and just look happy. Jerk. Alright, I have 10,000 points, so I think I should do max value and... Mm, 
Max A or Speed, I wonder which. Oh, he wasn't sealed? He was just temporarily dispelled? What? what? How do you even tell the difference? I saw him, like, a big blue, like, I saw a bunch of blue things fly around. Maybe it's this stun? I don't know, the chat's telling me quite a few things that I'm just having a hard time with. Oh, if they're sealed, they turn into a flame and go on your camera. Alright, I'm not, I don't care about the range right now, but the speed or the max value. I know it's not a good idea, doing max value all the same. It will make me level up faster. Though, just a minute, I'm gonna run up here. Running all the way down here. So guys, next time on Let's Play Fatal Frame, we are going to go further in the mansion. We're gonna not have to deal with more weird boss ghosts, I'm assuming that was supposed to be boss ghosts and not just the normal ghosts, because that's every normal ghost from now on, having a weird flailing head that where I have to fold their head and not their body, it's, that'll be ridiculous. So we'll have to deal with more things in the future. See you guys next time. Um, apparently, according to the chat, I'm doing terribly here. I'm missing a bunch of things. No. No. Please, no. All I wanted, all I wanted was to play this game. And you're not doing this to me, are you?